Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to be talking about with you guys when will we see the iPhone on your carrier. So, let's talk about all four carriers here in the United States, per se. So, in the United States, we have four major carriers. We have AT&T being the biggest, so AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint. Sprint being the smallest, AT&T being the biggest. So, with those carriers, when will you see it? So, let's so, I'm going to go through every or all four of the major United States carriers, and we're going to talk about when will we see them. So first, Verizon. Well, with Verizon, will we see it in general? Well, will we see it in general? Well, of course we'll see it. Apple wants to sell more phones. That will open them up to many more customers, bring them into a brand new market to dominate, and uh, they, Apple wants to sell more phones. That's a fact. Okay, so when will we see it? Well, we'll see it when 4G is here and established and in check. That's when we'll see 4G, because Apple wants one standard to make a phone on. Because right now, every or, yeah every U.S. carrier almost here uses some kind of different standard. Verizon and Sprint use a standard called CDMA, which, you know, without going into it much, it's, it's a standard without SIM cards. Make sense? And then AT&T and T-Mobile, they use GSM, which is a standard that requires SIM cards... Uh, you know, to get your information and that, which I kind of like because it allows you to hot swap phones if you need to. Kind of nice. But, uh, so that's your difference. And Apple wants one standard. And 4G is going to be one standard from what I understand. Now, there are, you know, some debates and some things. Well, they might have to use some CDMA stuff to make phone calls on Verizon. It's a big mess. I'm only talking about what I know. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Take, take it for what it's worth. But, uh... That's going, um, so when will we see this iPhone? I think as early as late 2011. 2011, I, late 2011 is the earliest I think we're going to see it. Well, why? Is because AT&T won't have 4G till sometime in 2011. And it's not going to be established enough in 2011 to, for Apple to make it. So in late 2011 at the earliest, I'm betting on mid-2012, something like that at the earliest. It, is what I'm thinking of, but it could come as early as 2011. Uh, Apple doesn't want to make two different phones because that, that does nothing but confuse the customer and up manufacturing costs and things like that. And now they've got to design two different phones, and CMA phones are usually a bit bigger than GSM phones. It's a big, complex deal. So now let's talk about T-Mobile. T-Mobile is the uh, third biggest uh, cell carrier in the world. And uh, they use GSM, like I said. And uh, iPhones already work on T-Mobile today. As far as I know, uh, T-Mobile even has their own customer support division for iPhones. So it's kind of funny, but you have to unlock your iPhone you know, through a jailbreak or something like that. So this would be you walk in and able to buy it from a T-Mobile store. So, uh, which, the big problem with using an iPhone on T-Mobile now is you don't get 3G. T-Mobile uses a different kind of 3G band, which is not global, but it is a 3G band that is not supported with the iPhone. So you can put it in and you'll get Edge all day long, but you'll never see 3G. So um, that's part of that. And then rumors are actually saying we'll see a T-Mobile iPhone in Q3 sometime. And this is Q3, <laughs> As so I, I really doubt it. We've seen rumors like this before. I really doubt we'll see a T-Mobile iPhone this quarter. Um, uh, I think if we do see one, it'll be the iPhone 5 at the earliest, I think. It just makes more sense, or or whatever Apple calls the next generation iPhone. I just think it makes more sense for Apple. So that way they could announce a brand new phone. They could say it supports T-Mobile and AT&T 3G. Makes perfect sense. So uh, that's what I think. And So now let's talk about Sprint. There's not much more to talk about with T-Mobile. Let's talk about Sprint. And the Sprint iPhone could come as early as when the Verizon iPhone does. It could come as early as that. But now, I don't have much more information at this time other than that's what I think. I don't have any rumors back me up. I don't have anything else. I just think that if Apple's going to tackle Verizon, they're going to tackle Sprint at the same time to get even more customers. Which, you now Sprint's the smallest carrier smallest major U.S. carriers, so they still got a lot of customers, but I don't know. 
Okay, so now let's talk about AT&T, which we know the iPhone's already on AT&T. Let's talk about why AT&T. Why is, is the iPhone on AT&T to begin with, everybody, if it sucks in general? Well, the iPhone was introduced in 2007. It was announced it would be on AT&T. It was on AT&T because it's the largest uh, U.S. cellular carrier. So Apple wants to sell the most phones. So if they're going to sell the most phones, they need to be on the biggest carrier. And that just makes perfect sense for Apple to do that. If Apple, you know, announced it on Sprint, they would have sold much less phones. And it just makes plenty more sense for them to say, okay, we're going to go on AT&T, sell our iPhone, and we'll make a lot more money that way, and we'll have a lot more customers. And that just makes sense. Um... And that's Apple's main goal is to sell more. And then plus they announced it on AT&T because they use one global U.S. Uh, they use one global standard. AT&T uses a global standard for their cell networks. So they want to sell the most phones. And so that way they can take that iPhone and they can sell it in Canada. Or they can sell it in Chile. Or they can sell it in Switzerland or Ireland or wherever. They can sell it in almost any country they want to. And also, that means that, you know, the iPhone you have today can be used globally instead of it was... Which, now, CDMA phones can be used globally, but then they switch over to GSM. So, uh, Verizon phones can be used globally, but they have to partner with other carriers in that country. Um, so, Apple... Oh, let's see here. Sorry about that. Uh, so, Apple wants to sell more phones, and that's why it is on... AT&T. So, uh, any questions, please leave them in the comments. I really enjoy your questions, your comments. If I get enough, I might even do a video talking about the questions and making a video reply to this one. I would love to be able to do that. And uh, so, uh, don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, you're automatically entered to win a $10 iTunes gift card when I reach 250 subscribers here on YouTube. So, don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, Thumbs up and comment also. And uh, I'll see you later, YouTube. You have a great day.